Very interesting uh, uh, engineering labs to see. What is it? What is the sports? I mean, this is this is this is very interesting. So, computer games, basically. Are you thinking about a career in IT or engineering, or perhaps you're passionate about technology? Studying in the UK opens up a world of exciting professions, and it's all about finding the one that fits you best. We're here to help with that. In this video, Adi from Mariadi will introduce you to some of the most in-demand careers taught at the University of Sunderland, including IT-related degrees and engineering. Together, we'll explore the university's cutting-edge departments with a focus on the Faculty of Technology and the IT and Computer Science Department. Let's dive in. Is there a right way to say Sunderland University or University of Sunderland? Um, to be honest, people use both. Both. Um, and you know, it's now University of Sunderland. Of Sunderland. But it used to be called Sunderland University. Really? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, and computing here as well. Yes, yeah. So um, you're, uh, these these uh, are used for teaching and for open access. Mm -hmm. um, so there are classrooms on the balconies. Um, are they interested in uh, uh, engineering labs to see? Well, some of the, you know, there, there are engineering labs there. Uh -huh. Some of the heavier engineering is actually at a, a separate site further up the river. Uh -huh. Of course. Sunderland is not the only university that offers programs in the IT field. There are many institutions in the UK and we work with almost all of them. We will help you choose the best university based on your preferences, assist you with the application process and address any other related questions. Getting in touch with us is very easy. Just leave a request via the link in the description or contact us in any other way, as all options are listed in the description to this video. Now let's dive deeper into the specialties offered specifically at University of Sunderland. IT department, it's a cyber security. Yes, they, they run quite a range of... Uh, Artificial of, intelligence, probably, yep, yeah? Yep, um, and the, uh, the, the, the latest um, programs they are going to be running um, uh, esports, uh, esports management. What is the what is esports? Well, esports is massive. It is now a multi-billion-pound industry, and a national centre for esports is opening in Sunderland. Really? This year. But can you explain to me what, what this is? is? People compete in sports online. So computer games, basically. Um, yeah, but but sports as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, up to be a massive, massive industry, and a national centre for it. I think it's been, a part it's of the game, in. gaming industry. Yeah. I would say. Um, yeah, of course. So they, 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 there will be um, new esports courses. Mm -hmm. um, they already run gaming courses. Mm -hmm. um, game they, design. Cyber security is is becoming more popular yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. um, but. You know, computer science is still a popular program. You know, we get quite a number of students progressing to computer science. It's more genial course, yeah. yeah which, uh, um, and of okay. course, a lot of engineering now is 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 done using computers. So, of course, well, some of these are um, your CAD suites. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. The gaming industry has expanded significantly, and it's no surprise that educational institutions want to integrate advanced specialties like esports event management into their programs. This course allows students to explore the world of competitive gaming and understand what makes esports so successful. The younger generation should definitely take an interest in this field. By the way, it has already been implemented in many educational institutions across the UK, but this is just one of many pathways available. The University of Sunderland offers a broad selection of courses and provides students with all that is necessary for a quality education. And here's one specialty that is becoming increasingly essential in our times. Was the subject of a, a, a major cyber attack. Really? Um, and, and a number of UK universities were. You know, it knocked out uh, all university systems. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that some universities had long-term impacts from that. Oh dear. This university had it turned over within two weeks 
mm-hmm. but everything was fixed and operational. All right. Um, you know, I, I think that you know, as a case study for cybersecurity students, it's mm. brilliant. You know, the way that they dealt with it. Yeah, that's good. When speaking with members of IT departments at schools and universities, they all unanimously agree that these days very few people understand hardware, the physical components of computers. More and more are focused only on software. However, a true specialist should have knowledge of both aspects. So, let's move on to engineering, both electronic and mechanical. Here's what the student engineering laboratories look like. So this is, um, I'm guessing, uh, uh, electrical engineering, maybe? Um, yeah, well, they run electrical engineering programs here. Uh, manufacturing, uh, engineering, electrical engineering. Would you know what this is? Um, I think that this is a miniature version of a, an assembly line. Assembly line? Oh, yeah, you're right, actually, yeah. Interesting. So I'm guessing this is something to do with the mechanical engineering. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. more likely. Room. To you. I don't think there's much to, to, to look at here, you know, and obviously the- What do you mean? This is this is this is very interesting. Very interesting. So do you get to use this lab sometimes? Yes. Yeah, yeah. very um, good. They, okay. uh, they uh, have uh, an assessed lab report that they have to produce all of the science of all, all the science subjects, okay. The yes. university also runs automotive engineering. Automotive? They have a, a link up with Nissan. Oh, okay. Because Nissan is one of the biggest employers in Sunderland. All right, uh, okay. Has a, a large uh, car plant here at Sunderland on the outskirts of Sunderland. I think I, 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 think I, I saw them uh, driving here. Yes. yes, I did see a big sign of Nissan. Uh, do you have, do you know... Um, uh, formula student. So there science. is, yes, they have a formula student car. It's not based here, though. Not based on this campus, it's but, not, it, no. but it is within Sunderland. It, yeah? It, yes, yeah. All right, okay. So, what do you think of the Faculty of Technology and Department of IT and Computer Science at Sunderland University? Please write your thoughts in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other releases from this wonderful university in England. You can find the campus tour, interview with Rob, introduction to the art and medical departments, and much more through the links in the description. I gotta check this out! That's all for today, friends. If you enjoyed the video and found it interesting, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other equally exciting and informative episodes. Thank you for watching and see you next time.